Good morning and welcome as we continue our daily devotions uh, reading through the, the book of John. Today we're reading through John chapter 9 and this entire chapter tells one story of an encounter of Jesus and a blind man. So the very first verse says that as Jesus passed by he saw a man blind from birth and the disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Can you imagine living your life with absolutely no vision? A life of in, endless, impenetrable night? Your view of the world, your only view of the world, painted with images that others have painted in your mind. Well, John chapter 9 describes a man who was blind from birth. And some of Jesus' disciples, when they saw this man, they assumed that the blindness had, his blindness had been brought on by sin, either his own sin maybe, or maybe the sin of his parents. But Jesus assured them that this man's troubles had not been caused by sin, but Jesus says they were so that the works of God might be displayed in him. Now, if you were blind, wouldn't you be willing to try just about anything to receive your sight? This is one of the... I classify them uh, really as it's a, a gross miracle for lack of a better word because Jesus spits on the ground and he takes some of the mud and he works it in his hand and then he pastes it on the man's eyes and he tells him to go and wash. The man does and he comes back seeing. And now the religious, the religious leaders though they overlooked this great sign because they wanted to ensure that it happened according to their regulations. So they asked questions. Was this the, the man who had been blind and begging for all these years? And if so, who had healed him? And then when they figured that out, they wanted to know, didn't Jesus know that he wasn't supposed to heal anyone on the Sabbath? But their interrogation of this man ended abruptly when the formerly blind man declared simply, I was blind, but now I see. The miracle of forgiveness that Jesus has worked in your life, life is no less incredible. We are all blinded, entering in this world, blinded by our sin. And we live in a world of perpetual darkness because of that. But in Christ, in the forgiveness that we receive, like that blind man, we can confidently say, I was blind, but now I see. So your story too has been written so that the works of God might be displayed in you. So have a great day.